The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Johnny Green and his orchestra. The orchestra opens the program with Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moe from the picture to beat the band. who can certainly turn a phrase, as my grandmother used to put it, Mr. E.F. Ruth of New York. Listen to what he says about Jell-O. The six delicious flavors stand out in front like a bolt of lightning on a dark and cloudy night. I can honestly and truthfully say that there is no other dessert on the market today that can live up to Jell-O's fine quality and delicious flavor. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ruth. And the reason why you and millions of others prefer Jell-O is because Jell-O has found a way to capture extra-rich fruit flavors. Flavor you don't get in any other gelatin dessert. For there's only one Jell-O, and only Jell-O has this delicious, extra-rich fruit flavor. So look for the big red letters on the package. They spell Jell-O. And now we bring to you the cheerleader of this program, Jack Benny. <laughs> oh, Mary, uh, where's Jack? Uh, he's downstairs getting a shave. I guess he'll be up soon. Say, uh, say, uh, Barber, uh, what's the name of that song? I think you call him Osolamir. What does that mean in English? Osolamir. I see. That's a nice haircut for Squally. Now, give me a quick shave. I've got to get upstairs and broadcast. Just once over. You want a just a shave or a first class of shave? I only want to bleed in one or two places. <laughs> well, I do a good job. Say, you know George Bernard Shaw? Yes. I always shave him. Well, he certainly doesn't look it. Hurry up, will you? It's a nice day. You'll think it's going to rain, not me. <laughs> yeah, make it, make it snappy, will you, please? Hey, Barber, you got soap in my eye. No charge for that. <laughs> uh, say, you like a pizza ball? Pizza ball? I never heard of that. You grab the ball, 22 men jump on your neck, you lose. <laughs> oh, you mean football. Yes, I like it. I think Alabama has a great team this year. Uh, pretty good, but I like Ohio State and Carnegie Touch. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You mean Carnegie Tech. D-E-C-H, a touch. Hey, Pasquale, you like it, the Prince of Town and a Coronel? Hey, let me do the dialect, please. I understand how. <laughs> yeah, please hurry up. I've got to get upstairs there. All right, I'll shave you now. Give me your face. Ooh. Uh, how do you like the razor? Very good. A piece of my lip is on it. <laughs> That's all right. You've got a plenty of lip left. Good thing you're not shaving Chevalier. Here's next. Uh. Mm. Mm. Say, how do you like the way Joe Louse beat Max Bear? Hurry up, will you, Pasquale? I have work to do. Shoes. Now, you want a hot towel? Well, does a hot towel do you any good? No, but it make you hot. <laughs> well, I don't want it. You try it for no like or no pay. Hey, what's that? That's a towel getting a hot. Oh. Do you want a face of massage? I make you look just like a Shirley Temp. I don't want to look like Shirley Temp. I want to look like Jack Ben. I don't want a hot towel. 
Si fa che essa mentre fu rase per la rosse chi la per la stupa morti di stupa. Say Jack, you better hurry. You want it upstairs. I'll be right up, Mary. I'm getting a permanent shave. What's your hair doing on the floor, Jack? I just got a haircut. How do you like it, Mary? <laughs> Gee, I thought you were wearing a beret. <laughs> Listen, this is a late-style round haircut. It's nice, Jack. Looks like a Leavenworth special. Yeah. Hey, hey, look at the course of place. Hey, boss, you want a vibration? You mean a vibrator? Sure, it's only take one minute, sir. Make you feel good. All right, but make it snappy, will you? Oh, hey, hey, wait a minute, will you? Oh, Jack. What? For your teeth are on the floor. Well, for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, boss, so that's the finish, eh? You want to talk about powder? No. Oh, you don't want to smell good, eh? I smell all right. Come on, Jack. You've got to go to work. Hey, boss, what kind of work do you do? I'm on the radio, and I broadcast all over America. Well, you can thank all Italian people. Why? Because Marconi discovered the radio, and Columbus discovered America. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, wait. <laughs> He's right, Jack. Let's get out of here. Hey, what program you got? Jello. Oh, I like the jelly with the six delicious flavors. I like it the guy who says raspberry, strawberry, cherry berry, orange, lemon, and lima berry. Well, how much do I owe you, Pasquale? Hey, let me see. One haircut, shampoo, hair tonic, shave, hard towel, and vibration. Twenty cents. <laughs> Twenty cents? What? Oh, pay him, Jack. That's what you get for coming to these gyp joints. Mamma mia, this stupid about rolling on set the chair of a Johnny Green up playing Anything That Goes Up. I mean, that was Johnny Green playing Anything Goes from the production of the same name. Say, uh, Jack, you're a little late, aren't you? Yes, Don. I stopped over at the barber's for our first routine to talk. You know. Oh, uh, was he a good barber? Yes, our audience laughed at it. <laughs> oh, hello, Johnny. Hello, Jack. I didn't recognize you. You look clean tonight. <laughs> well, I just came from the barber shop. Got a shave and a trim. Mm, you got a pretty close haircut there, didn't you? Yeah. His head looks like an airport. <laughs> Mary, don't discourage our listening audience. I mean, after all, they've just seen me as a lover in my latest picture. It's in the air. And they think I look the same up here. So don't disillusion them. I won't. What's disillusion, Jack? Well, Mary, on the air, you see, your listeners can't see you. All they can do is visualize, you see? Oh, I get it. What does visualize mean? <laughs> well, Mary, look, visualize means that they draw a mental picture of the activity up here, which enables them to conjure up the kaleidoscopic procedure. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's the funniest haircut I've ever seen. <laughs> Forget it, will you? Oh, Johnny, what does visualize mean? I don't know. I just handle the music here. Oh, just a juggler of crescendos, eh? Mm -hmm. 
say, Don, do you know any big words? Oh, just words like strawberry, raspberry, jello. And now wait a minute, Don. Jello isn't such a large word. No, but it's the largest selling gelatin dessert in the world, and every day millions of people eat it. Well, I thought we'd drag that in by the heels gracefully, didn't you, Don? <laughs> huh? Yes, it didn't sound a bit obvious. No. <laughs> Mary, answer the door. Why don't he knock? Every program is doing that now. Come in. Hello. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I'd like to see Mr. Benny, please. There he is, standing over there. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm Kenny Baker. Oh, Jack, what does Kenny Baker mean? It's a man's name. Oh. Come in. Well, uh, how do you do, Mr. Baker? How do you do? You know, I've been expecting you. You're the, uh, the new singer, aren't you? Uh, what was that? I say, uh, you're the new singer, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> now, uh... <laughs> now, uh, Mr. Baker, I, uh... uh thank you. No, 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 wait a minute. Just, just relax. I mean, don't be nervous. Uh, uh, tell me, what kind of a voice have you? I'm, uh, uh I'm a tenor singer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, uh, don't don't worry about it. Just take it easy. Uh, uh, step right over here to the microphone. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> well, be, be careful there. You tripped over a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess I'm a little nervous. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Now I want you to meet the members of our little company. Uh, this is Johnny Green. Johnny, this is Kenny Baker. Hello, Mr. Baker. How do you do? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous, I guess. Hmm, <laughs> same to you, no doubt. <laughs> and, um, this is, this is our announcer, uh, Don Wilson. How are you, Mr. Baker? It's a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, he'll get over it, I guess. And this is, uh, this is Mary Livingston. Hello, Tut. Gee whiz. <laughs> well, Kenny, how about giving us a little song? Now, I want you to feel right at home and be at ease. Remember, this is one big happy family, depending on options, of course. <laughs> now, um, what are you going to sing? If you don't mind, I'll sing The Rose in Her Hair from the motion picture, Broadway Gondolier. I don't mind. Sing, Kenny. Okay, Benny. <laughs>
That was Rose in Her Hair, sung by Kenny Baker. You have a very sweet voice, Kenny. It's funny, I haven't met you before. Uh, uh, what brought you out to Hollywood? Oh, nothing. Uh, just making a picture, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> now, you're uh, making a picture, eh? Yes, anything to kill time. Well, it, it is a diversion, yeah. What's a diversion, Jack? Quiet, Mary. That's what I thought. <laughs> You know, uh, young man, the only difficulty we may have on this program is, well, uh, you see, your name is Kenny, and mine is Benny. I mean, that might be confusing. Well, uh, uh, couldn't you change yours? <laughs> yes, I don't mind. You can call me Stoopnagel from now on. All right. You call me Bud. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm glad to have you with us. Thanks. Gosh. <laughs> Oh, Stoopnagel, here's a letter for you. Yeah? A letter? Yes, I think it's fan mail. Hmm. Well, you're just in time, Mary. I think we were running out of jokes. And let's see, this is from Miss Flora Fenchell, Lake Forest, Illinois. It says, Dear Mr. Benny, I thought it was hard to get into pictures until I saw you in Broadway Melody, and it's in the air. I have a job here, but I'm sick of it and would like to try pictures. I have two arms and legs, just like Thompson Bennett. I eat steak and potatoes like Katherine Hepburn, and I sleep with my eyes closed like Kay Francis. So what am I waiting for? <laughs> Is it really hard to get into pictures? P.S. I just won a beauty contest in Atlantic City, if that will help. Well, Miss Benchell... That's what this program is on the air for, to give advice to people like you. And also to sell jello. Yes. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, after Johnny Green's next number, we will take you direct to the Metro Pathamount Studios and show you how stars are born and pictures are made. After all, what's the use of being in Hollywood if we can't help? Play, Director Green. <laughs>
sheet from Top Hat with cameraman Green at the piano, sound by his orchestra, and gowns by Adrian. <laughs> and now for our play of the film industry, which we call Open Up That Gold Wind Gate. The first scene takes place in the office of the president of the Para Fox Studio. Curtain. Music, John. <laughs> Hello, Terra Fox Studio. You want Ricardo Cortez? We're all out of those. How about a nice Corona Corona? <laughs> oh, you mean the actor. I'll put him right on. Good morning, Miss Glutz. Good morning, Mr. Parasite. Get me Director Roy Del Ruth right away. He's in Arizona making China seas. Oh. Where's Mr. Reisner? He's in China making 50 million Frenchmen. Well, I don't want to see anyone today. I'll be busy in conference. Uh, when will the conference be over? Never. I'm always in conference. I'm always busy. I was born busy and I'll die busy. Get me Eugene O. Wilson, quick. The boss wants Eugene O. Wilson. Paging Eugene O. Wilson. Eugene O. Wilson. Eugene O. Wilson. Eugene O. Wilson. He's out to lunch. He's out to lunch. He's out to lunch. Out to lunch. Out to lunch. He's out to lunch. Hmm. <laughs> so I gather. Well, when he gets back, tell him I want to see him. Miss Glutz, look up the reports on our pictures. What did earaches of 1935 do in Philadelphia yesterday? Uh, $83,000.50. Hmm, and what did Nutty Marietta do? Uh, she went out to lunch. I mean the business in Boston. We gotta make bigger and better pictures. We need more stars. We need new faces. Did you send for me? Yes, Eugene. What this company needs is bigger and better stories. What have you written in the last half hour? I just wrote a story on my way upstairs. The scene is laid in India. India? That's colossal. India. We'll get 10,000 elephants. 50,000 Maharajas. Don't you want to hear the story? No, India's enough. The idea is terrific. <laughs> ah, India. Miss Glutz, order 10,000 elephants. Okay. Hello, Mr. Grady. The boss wants 10,000 elephants. Yes, they go right to work. Tell them to bring their trunks. <laughs> Pardon me. Who do I see here? I just won a beauty contest in Atlantic City. What'd you do with it? Don't get fresh. <laughs> I have a contract to appear in pictures with this company. So you want a beauty contest, eh? Can you ask? No, but I certainly am beautiful. Ain't I got the cute kisser? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, what's Loretta Young got that I haven't got? You'll never know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Mr. Paradise, the girl who won the Atlantic City beauty contest is here. I want elephants. The picture's in India. Get me elephants. I'm sorry, miss. He just wants elephants. Well, what'll I do? Eat some peanuts. Maybe you'll fool him. <laughs> won a beauty contest. You'll have to see Mr. Green down the hall. He's in charge of the beauty. Thank you. What a snooze. <laughs> Thank you, Gene. Yes? I just read your scenario and it's great. But look, does this picture have to be in India? Can it be some other place? Oh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, make it Arabia. Arabia! Arabia! Stupendous! <laughs> Miss Glock. Yes, Mr. Parachute? Cancel those elephants. Get me 20,000 camels, 40,000 sheep, 50,000 deserts. Hello, Mr. Grady, cancel the elephants. Order 20,000 camels. Yes, camels. You know, a horse with a wart on his back. Come in. What is it, miss? Are you Mr. Green? Yes. Well, I just won a beauty contest in Atlantic City. Oh, you did, eh? Well, aren't you a little bow-legged? Yes, but you should have seen the other girls. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to see Mr. Lemaire in the annex. Where is that? Walk through that brick wall and turn to the right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I'll tell him. Oh, Mr. Paradise, they're all out of camels. What? No camels? Say, Eugene, does this picture have to be in Arabia? No, it could be played in Spain. Spain! Dynamic! Sunny Spain! What an idea! Spain will get 30,000 bulls, 50,000 toreadors, a million castanets. Miss Glock. Yes, I know. Hello, police headquarters. Send over some bulls. We're in Spain now. <laughs> Come in. Uh, pardon me. Uh, is uh, Mr. Parachute in? Yes, who are you? Uh, I'm a thespian. I'm sorry, but he wants bulls right now. <laughs> oh, I say, I'm an actor. Uh, people tell me I'm a second jet finish. We don't even want the first one. <laughs> Oh, yes, but, but, but I'm a student of Shakespeare. I've played both Hamlet and Macbeth. Well, wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Paraffin, there's a man out here who says he's played Hamlet and Macbeth. Oh, a parlay, yeah. 
Well, hire them. Give them $1,000 a week and throw them out. Have those bulls come in yet? No. We're holding up production. Say, Eugene, does this picture have to be in Spain? No, uh, it could be done in Russia. Russia! What a thought! Russia! Ah, Russia, we'll get 20,000 beers, 50,000 Volgas. This has got to be a super picture. Good luck. Get Russia on the phone. Operator, get me Rubinoff. Two ho, ho, ho. Come in. Is this Mr. LaMare? Yes. Uh, what can I do for you, miss? I just won Atlantic City at a beauty contest. What? Uh, I mean, I, I won a beauty contest at Atlantic City. Oh, you did, eh? Well, uh, aren't you a little old? I wasn't when I first came in here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, miss, but you'll, but you'll have to see Mr. Van Dyke. Ah, uh, nurse. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes, I'll tell him. Oh, good morning, Mr. Stair. How do you feel today? <laughs> hmm, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, come in. Back at the course of this, yes. I want to see Mr. Parachute. He's not in right now. I see a shadow in the window. Well, if you want to speak to a shadow, all right. Miss Gluck, did those beers get in here yet? No. Oh, hello, Pasquale. What are you doing here? I want to go and I'm moving a pitch. I'm moving a pitch. Hey, Eugene, I've got it. Why can't this picture be in Italy? Colossal. That's it, Italy. Miss Gluck. I know. Mr. Grady, order 10,000 miles of spaghetti. Say, boss. Boss, I've got a better idea. Why can't this picture take place in the United States? United States? Terrific. I never thought of that. Why don't you make it New Jersey? New Jersey. That's the place. Miss Gluck, get me 10,000 mosquitoes. 20,000 Jersey cows. And 30,000 Jersey sweaters. What an idea. Hooray! Come in. I just won a beauty contest in Atlantic City. Atlantic City, colossal. This bus, get 10,000 miles of boardwalk. 20,000 ocean waves. 30,000. Hey, hey, what's this? What's here, this? Here's the elephant yard. Elephant? Miss Glass, I thought I told you to cancel those elephants. You can. Why not? You sent for those elephants, and an elephant never forgets. And a jello eater never forgets. Once you eat jello, you will always remember that extra rich, fresh fruit ah, flavor. Ah, Miss Glass, get this between on the piano. What do I say? Play John. <laughs> Folks, next Tuesday is election day, and we have a candidate who will be endorsed by all parties. The candidate is Jell-O, and it's always a winner. What's more, Jell-O has dozens of winning combinations. Here's one of them. A bang-up salad idea that will go over big, even with the men. It's a tasty mixture of crisp shredded cabbage and diced up pineapple inside a lovely clear mold of lemon Jell-O. Tastes grand with a tangy sort of flavor that's got real come on. Jell-O tastes twice as good as ever before. Use it for salads as well as desserts, and you'll find it twice as useful. So vote a straight Jell-O ticket when you go to your grocers. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. Just be sure to insist on genuine Jell-O. number of the sixth program in the new Jell-O series, and we'll be with you again next Sunday night at the same time. Oh, Jack. What? What are we going to do with these elephants? I don't know. I'm going home now. Get me 50,000 taxis, 100,000 streetcars. Good night, folks. Mm.